All right, now we're moving to our flare series. So a flare screen is anytime, um, like the ball could be in the wing right here, there's going to be a screener who is setting a screen for a player who does not have the basketball, and the, the player without the ball is cutting away from the ball, and they're going over the screen, and then, of course, they're making a read from there. But let's say this first read right here is just your defender is just right here. They didn't go over. They didn't go under. They're just staying here. So what you're going to do is just catch it over the screen and then attack into a pull-up. And you all can take one step that way. We'll start, you start with the pass to me, and then I'll pass it back to you. There we go. So that's just your defender ran into the screen. Now let's say your defender, now your defender goes over the screen. So now you're just going to curl it, catch it for a layup. Okay, ready, go. So they went over the screen. Yep. Now you're going to catch it for a layup. Now let's say, and Jake slide down one step. Now we're going to say your defender goes under the screen. So what's going to happen is this player is going to rescreen. You're going to stop right behind the screener and shoot a three or go into a pull-up, but let's just shoot a three right here. Okay, start. Hold on, we'll restart. Start with the flare. Defense goes under. There we go. He had Jake set the screen like he did and then set the rescreen. So when they set the rescreen, you want to be directly behind their back because now – if you're at this angle, yep, the defender can kind of slip that screen and still get to you. So just make sure you stop right behind his back. All right, now we're on to our floppy series. So this is the floppy set. Is You're going to have two screeners. Okay, this chair represents a screener. And then, Jake, you're going to be the other screener. And you're going to square up about, you're going to be about right there. Yep, and square up. So floppy series, the screens are set kind of in the block area. And then the shooter can run off either way, left or right. Sometimes there's two shooters. You may circle around the screen, but this is just the basic setup of the floppy series. So the first read that we're going to do is we're going to say your defender is just trailing you, so they're directly behind you, and then what you're going to do is just curl off, and you can go either side, but you're just going to go regular curl off of the screen into a jump shot. Ready? Yep, so regular curl. Good. Now we're going to go pop back so we're going to say your defender goes over the screen and then you're going to pop back kind of towards either corner okay so they go over the screen yep there you go sorry for the bad pass all right now we're going to say your defender steps up and kind of jumps the cut so again you can go either side but let's say I'm your defender and you start cutting this way well now let's say I'm trying to explode through that screen and beat you to the spot now you would just go back door yep so now you would go back door. So this is defense overplays the screen, so you go back door. You can go either side. Yep. There we go. All right, now we're going to go to our pin down series. Normally, a down screen means that the screener starts here at the wing area and goes down to the corner to set a screen. A pin down is when they go from the wing and then they're stepping down towards the block. So this is the pin down pin down series. So the first thing we're going to do is just a normal curl off the, off the pin down. Okay. Yep. So there's a regular curl. We're saying the defense trailed behind. Now let's go straight cut to the perimeter. Now we got a straight cut. Good. Good shot. Now we're going to go with a flare. So we're saying the defense overplays and the defense, yep, the defense jumps on this side of the screen, so that's going to leave it open on the corner, and we're going to rescreen. So pin down, pin down, flare to the corner. Yep. Now let's go back door. So the defense is overplaying the screen. There we go. Good. All right, now we're going to go to our stagger series. So a stagger is when you have two screeners. So we've got a screener here, and then again, this chair is representing another screener. The cutter is going to, of course, set their screen up. They're going to walk their defender in, and then we're going to go off of different options off of this stagger. So the first one that we're going to do is a regular curl in for a layup. So the defender trails you, you go regular curl. Okay, you ready? Go. Going regular curl, going right in for a layup. Good. Now let's go straight cut for a three-point shot. So the defender could stay right behind you, but get caught up in the screens if you're a good shooter. 
All right, so now we're going to go curl off of the first screener. Curl off the first screener. Yep, there we go. That's a good curl just to surprise the defense. Now let's go with a pop back behind the second screener. So it doesn't really matter how the defender played the first screen, but what we're saying now is I'm your defender, and somehow I got under this guy, this screener. They're going to rescreen me, and you're going to be right behind the screen for a three. All right, ready? Go. So this is a pop back. There we go. Good shot. All right, last cut out of the stagger series is just a back door. So we're going to say the defender is here. You walk me in. Now I'm getting ahead of myself, and I'm trying to jump this screen. I get one step ahead of you. Now you just go back door. So we're going to go back door off of the first screen. Here we go. Yep. There we go. Good.